I'm all about getting to the root of things. And um, Mr. Crowley has been um, instrumental throughout music uh, for a long, for before I was born, you know what I mean? Uh, Led Zeppelin, Beatles, um, there's a lot of great artists that you know, are the um, building blocks for even hip hop. Listen, I'm telling you, it's my world. I does what I wish to. I just want to stay broke forever. Yeah, that's that <laughs> no one ever said. If I ever said I f your b just know I mean it. Do without wilt itself. You know, free will is what it kind of sounds like, right? <laughs> What's your hotel been like? Oh, it's incredible. Yeah? Would you like to see it later? Oh my gosh, well, maybe. Who knows? I was just, I was just trying to, you know, gauge whether it's like five star or, or bargain yeah, basement. It's like a two star, so. but okay. I mean, we could be real romantic and, you know, enjoy the two star. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm <laughs> definitely, like I'm going to go because, I mean. <laughs> oh, you can too, it's all good. Three's a party. <laughs> Draw near, sons of the sorceress, offspring of the adulterer and the loose woman. Whom are you mocking? Against whom do you open your mouth wide and stick out your tongue? Stick out her tongue, can I, can I have some? Are you not children of transgression, the offspring of deceit? You who burn with lust among the oaks, under every green tree, who slaughter your children in the valleys, under the clefts of the rocks? You don't know what it is. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Luminati, and you're a part of it, and it is it, the all-mocking tongue.
What do you call yourself? What, what, how do you name yourself? Because okay, do you call yourself still a Christian artist, even in the mainstream? Or what, what do you call yourself? I feel like those labels get put on you by other people, sure. which is, uh, and I'm not, like that's me, not, like I just did. Yeah. No. <laughs> well, I was reading an article. I read them like here and there. Got to stay away sometimes. But then other times I'm like, indulge. And I was reading one and one of them's like Christian artists. Another one's just artists. So I think part of me is just artist because it encompasses everything sure that's kind of how i see myself second degree of Freemasonry, it says that Freemasonry's goal and aim is to rule the world. Rule the world. Rule the world.
on the sofa scrolling through our phone Same old, same old A weekend at your parents just trying to save up some dough They're one of the most secretive organisations in the world. There are certain secrets that you have to earn. Where were you first prepared to be a Freemason? In my heart. Describe the mode of your preparation. My right arms, left breast and knee made bare. There has been this notion that we somehow use goats in our rituals because we're somehow satanic. Freemasonry's goal and aim is to rule the world. An even more important symbol may be the sunburst that surrounds the G. God is the radiance. God is the center of the radiance, that solar symbol. And up front, in the eastern end of the building, is a person who's a worshipful master. And you kneel down before him. And he brought me into the inner court of the house of the Lord. And behold, at the entrance of the temple of the Lord, between the porch and the altar, were about twenty-five men, with their backs to the temple of the Lord, and their faces toward the east, worshipping the sun toward the east. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. That whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life.